G'day viewers, Ivan here from Peak Off Road here in Weatherill Park, Sydney, Australia. And today is one of the, uh, well actually this is actually our second video for the Bush Company Alpha, but this one's a little bit special. It's actually got the XT awning fitted onto it. It's uh, uh, the new thing on the market and uh, they've become very, very popular. Um, they're a little bit hard to get, but this case, it's one of the first 200 series in the country with uh, the whole setup on, including the ensuite with the new ensuite brackets have actually come in. So we'll show you those ensuite brackets and that's kind of going to make it all work. Now, thank you to Paul for lending us the car to do a video shoot. Uh, he's come a long way. Uh, he lives on the water, well not quite on the water, but close enough. And uh, it's a bit of a travel and to come down here. He should have bought pizza, but he didn't. Hey, that's life. But in any case, uh, without further ado, we'll just get into it really. Like we'll always, we'll open up the awning and we'll close the awning because uh, it's a lot better for lighting uh, than having the awning and make it all very dark. So let's go do this and get into it and um, go. Right, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this is the first awning that um, Bush Company has got out that is actually proper freestanding polis. So very similar to all the other awnings uh, on the market. It's only Velcroed in. If I can find a Velcro strap, pick one up. It drops down like per normal. You grab the, uh, the front ones out, then you go to the back and grab a pole. Make sure it doesn't get caught up. And we just uh, find a clip for it. And you're done. Now that's as bad as easy, it's about as easy as going to get. Um, the awning construction is pretty cool. Um, it actually has a, a truss construction here. It's all made of aluminium. It's got a reflective coating on the top, which is fantastic. Uh, there is no poles. You do not have an option for poles. Uh, they just come out as they are now. Um, so really you can feel pretty safe. They're, uh, they're fairly confident that um, they, the awning doesn't need poles at all and it actually fits beautifully here on the outer tent. Um, just to give you an idea, it comes from the back at not quite 45, so it's not quite square off the back. But awnings, they do need to have a cut-off section, so they've actually put it on here to give you a little bit more area over where you normally be sitting. Again, the section at the front here covers up to the front door, and the back door is where you can grab your stuff and move on from there. So this is where your sitting area is. So let's put this thing away. We'll do a video all about the, uh, the uh, XT awning. So it's very simple. Undo the strap. Push it around. It doesn't get much more simpler than this. You pull out your Velcros so you can get to them. There they are, there's only two to be done. Not hard. <coughs> the two Velcros done and it's pretty straightforward. Pick up your fabric as you go through. Give it a bit of push, find the Velcro, you don't have to pull too tight. You store this up in the top, which is a strap. It has to be long on this car, just the way everything has been <coughs> put together. So that's all pretty straightforward. Remember this is still new. So it has a little bit of um, it has a little bit of um, getting used to where it needs to be in the bag. Not very difficult at all. Again, today, guys, it is very hot here in Sydney. Uh, we are still running in the 40 degree plus, so it's a bit sweaty. What we're going to do now is just go through the rest of the car. We're going to open up the tent and uh, and show you how it actually fits on a 200. Oh, before I go, uh, Paul's uh, uh, circumstances is that he wanted to be able to remove the tent. So this tent is actually made to be removed off his front runner rack. So when he gets to the time when he needs to take it off, he's got some slings, puts his forklift underneath it, 
undoes the uh, eight 16 bolts and um, puts on a pallet and puts on the shelf and then you can run the car out per normal. So this is not a full-time tourer. If, if it was, you would remove this rack completely and save yourself the extra 30 kilos. All right, we'll get to the back and have a look what he's got in the back. Don't mind the step, the step is for a little bit later. On the back of the 200, he's gone for the Kmar, which is, uh, as you know, it's pretty robust and they are the money. But this is a 2017 Sahara. Uh, with a dual wheel carrier and uh, it has also the uh, high GVM upgrade already on it so pretty nice. Okay uh, uh, it is a, two, a 2017 Sahara you get all the wells, <laughs> whistles and bells I'll just uh, open that up look it's a little bit posh actually you know it's uh, having a 200 but they are the cruiser is obviously as you know the tow vehicle of australia tour touring and also just a wonderful car it's all pretty well sorted out he's gone with the drifter drawers uh, which is an excellent option because um, he's got a swap drawer at the bottom so you can actually have the pull out kitchen and uh, do that to the side uh, i have the same option in my gq as well and uh, that's been around forever the second one here as you see is a table that puts out a little bit of area, eating area you have, and then he has storage everywhere else. Look, this is fantastic, guys. It's absolutely a beautiful thing. Now, we're just gonna drop this down. Um, going back to the Alpha tent now, and the way it's mounted. Um, with these, uh, since we've got the 200, you have a nice, beautiful tailgate to go onto. The latches are made by, um, uh, by Bush Company for themselves. Uh, so everything here is Bush Company related, so they're actually doing the whole lot. This rear mount is not really available for the 200 because they've got a super wing. Um, that's where you put your next ladder. So, okay, it's the same with all the rest of the tents. Up you go, grab the bungee strap. And this is what you're waiting for, guys. It's, uh, it's the really, really big awning that gives you uh, full protection when it's raining and keeps the sun off it. Um, these have been super, super popular. Super, super popular. Uh, you would have seen through the other videos. Well, that's the setup done. All the uh, bedding is still inside. Um, it fits me in, no problems. The tent's 2.3 metres long. Um, if you go through it all, uh, it's 1.4 metres wide, 2.3 metres long. It's just under 1.6 metres in height. So if you're 1.6 metres, you can stand up in it and you don't have to worry about a change room. But we'll go around to the side of the tent. I want to show you some brackets. So let's go have a look. Okay, these are the brackets I wanted to show you. Now with the external mounting um, uh, gas struts, like the alley cab has internal mounting gas struts, and that gives you the whole of the side to play with. Um, with these ones here, with the Bush Company, they've made their own extrusion here, which you can mount directly to. And that's what the ladder mount is mounted to. And these new brackets that they've done, so in this case they've put a quick pitch, um, they will be building out their own ensuite. Um, but now you can go around, around the gas struts, which is super cool. Um, this was not an option on most of the tents that were actually had gas struts externally. So this is the first one in the whole range that actually has external uh, ensuite mounting options. Uh, Alley Cab was the only one previous to that. Um, as you can see here, it's a matter of undoing the bolts underneath. They're all pretty easy to get to. Uh, it is a little bit of work. It'll take about half an hour to take it off. And again, about half an hour to put it on. But once you put it on and off, the mounting brackets are already um, uh, already there, so it's just a matter of just swiggling it around and putting the bolts in. As you can see, he's running on the front runner backbone system and the front runner rack on top, so if he doesn't use a tent, he's off and he's running. Okay, I'll go a little bit closer to the light for you guys. This is the supplied ladder. This cutout here is a locking mechanism, so this just runs up onto here and then do I need my short lookers, Artie? Where, no. Right, there you go. Okay, that was first attempt, guys. I uh, didn't have to go do and do it six times and get me short lookers. And that is the ladder secured. The, 
the mesh here is all midgy proof. Um, they have a double canvas and we will do a just a tent review on its own for the Bush Company will be coming out shortly. Um, pretty straightforward, ladder on and off, easy. Let's go to the front of the tent and see what load you can put onto it. Okay, I know I've dragged you around and around the car, but we are here at the front. Of, um, so these are the hinges which mount onto the new extrusion that um, Bush Company had made. As you see here, he's run the load bars. Uh, there's a front runner bars, and he's also put his max tracks and shovel mount holders onto it. Now you can run uh, a kayak on here pretty easily, but like all things, uh, you have to have a little bit of give and take. So if you put a little bit more weight towards the back, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get up, and it'll come down a little bit more of a flurry, but it will hold it up there. Um, the tent itself is, I'll just, uh, you stay there, I'll just come to the front. Uh, if you were to mount this tent normally, it would be sitting here, right? So we've actually got probably uh, a good 60, 70 mil, a little bit higher than normal. But on this car, it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, again, this car is a little bit special. It is a Sahara. It has got all the bells and whistles. It's, a, it's my favorite color. I have two vehicles in this color. And uh, yes, I always like nice cars, as you know. But look, again, it's a, it's a perfect match for this uh, in his situation, it's fantastic. We'll just give you a couple of little more things inside. It's uh, pretty straightforward at the back. I want to show you the water tank that he has here and the way, the way he has his water. Uh, the, there's a nice stainless steel tank, which is always nice for good taste. Filter and a cargo barrier. Guys, you always need a cargo barrier. If you hit something, everything that's the back will meet you in the front seat. And that is not a really recommended way to do things. The water is also pumped out to the back uh, on where the spare wheel carrier is and he's got a nice little tap there so that's all pretty straightforward. But it's a wonderful setup, very very swish. It's all been done extremely well. Um, Organisers, iPad holders, uh, as you know when you're travelling around Australia doing lots of corrugations it's nice to have something super comfy and uh, as you get older this is what you should be aiming for. And you can tow your four ton caravan behind it, uh, V8. We are trying to save the world, by the way. Apparently, we're gonna have V6s in these soon. All right, uh, a couple of more little bits and pieces. The tent weight on this is, from memory, is 93 kilos, and the awning is 27. So just add that to your roof weighting, roof loading, and include whatever backbone, if you have a front runner rack on top and then shovels and everything else. These roof loadings on these 200s are very, very good. Um, all right, well, we'll just go around through the front. I wanted to show you the front with the worn winches. Right, as we go going back to the front again, uh, worn winch, ARB bar, 200 series, Sahara, plenty of oomph. It's, had, it's all been done the right way. It's all uh, GVM upgraded. It's engineered where it needs to be engineered. It's actually even got a protective coating on the pate. So when you're finished and you want to sell it, you just peel that sucker off. Um, wonderful car. What else can I say? Uh, again, my favorite color. Um, the rooftop tent combination with this is excellent. So anyway, we'll wrap it up now. All right, and we're here at the end, as you can see. Behind me is one of my favorite color 200 series uh, with the Alpha tent on it. Uh, like I said just before, great combo. Again, as you can see, we're sweating here today. It is a very hot day and we're at the start of January 2020 and uh, the whole of Australia is burning down. And, and again, in some of the other videos I've said, we've actually given you a comprehensive idea. idea we've, Australia has burnt basically the size of Texas. It has burnt down to a crisp. Uh, so again, we reach out to our fireys and uh, our defence forces here that was helping out and hopefully uh, we can finish this all up. Guys, uh, down here at the show, you can come down and see us in Weatherill Park, Sydney. Um, we'll, we'll get some trips out and hopefully this 200 will come out with us. Again, thank you to Paul for coming down this all this way and uh, showing us the vehicle. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. A bit of pizza, a bit of beer, always helps. Um, again, guys, enjoy. We'll see you out there. Hooray. And what do you call it? The crowd goes wild. Woo! Woo! Alrighty. Alrighty. I don't think it's been hotter 
in the in the showroom ever. Ah. God, this is a big awning. Oh, I didn't show them the uh, the uh, storm straps. There's some storm straps that actually go onto this as well. Oh my God. We are going home, having a shower, having a couple of beeries. Oh, dearie me. This super wing makes all the difficulties. And the two are. There's a little bit more to tuck in on this one. But uh, I wonder if I can do this with a fan on the roof. A little bit more. That's it. 